All right, look, yesterday I got absolutely hoed in MLB 23 Diamond Dynasty. Today, it might happen again. I don't know, but I'm going to do my best to see if we can uh, win a game here. We're still 4-2 and two online. Still got a winning record. I feel good. And we got a lot of packs to open. I completed the World Baseball Classic Conquest. I did the whole Conquest thing. I figured out how to play it. Um, and... This is the card. Yesterday, I played against this Madison Bumgarner card, and dude had the meanest sweeping curve and freaking cut fastball that I can imagine, so I'm taking him. I'm taking him. I'm adding him to the rotation uh, in place of, I guess, uh, this guy. So, yeah, Madison Bumgarner, that's that's my ace now. And I've also I've got some, some other packs, which I don't, I don't know if they're great, but Season 1 XP Path Boss? Choose one player choice. That seems like it might be good. So let's just open up some. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. It is good. It is good. Oh, my God. This guy's stealing and speed is 99. Ricky Henderson, left field. Bob Gibson. I don't need another pitcher. Um, oh, dude. I've played with this guy in, uh, in one of the programs I was playing. Yeah, I think I'm taking him. I think I'm taking Ricky Henderson. 99 speed, 99 stealing, 108, 115 contact. He's got great uh, plate vision. Yeah, we're we're taking him. Um, and then diamond duos. I want to say this is good. I hope auto flip cards. Oh, what the fuck? We got no diamonds in the diamond duos. Okay. Well, I got 19. Uh, 19 MLB the show pack, so let's see if maybe we get lucky and I don't know, get get a diamond or two. Probably not, but I swear I saw some uh SSK sponsorship. I saw some video on YouTube where somebody opened like 20 packs and I swear to god like six of them had these diamond players inside. And if they can get lucky, we can too. Hope you're having a great Monday so far. What is that? Universal profile banner looks... Looks diamond. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not as lucky as I thought. Boy, I've been grinding today. I must have played MLB... No bullshit. Eight hours today? And you telling me this is... <laughs> this is all I got? <laughs> no money spent is serious, boy. No money spent is serious. What I really need to do is just take some players and sell them on the marketplace. Get some cash, but a lot of the cards that you unlock through the programs are actually no sell, so it makes it kind of difficult. Buddy, I'm not gonna get a single diamond card through 20 packs. Come on, bro. We do got some uh, some of these though. Can we just sell that? Yeah, there we go. Let's quick sell these. We get 4K. So that puts us at what 63,383. Stubs, I know I could get some more of that. Um, if we go to manage squad, so I've got my whole squad set up for the World Baseball Classic doing the missions and shit. So let's generate best squad. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We got, um, what the fuck? When did I get Alex Bregman 96? When did I get that? That card, I don't even know, bro. We got like a whole new team again. <laughs> Okay, so we got Ricky Anderson and Lev, 99. Uh, 96, Alex Bregman. That's a great card. Um, okay, at third, we move Troy Gloss over to um, shortstop, I guess. And then at DH, who who is this? Blake Sabal, okay. And then we got uh, Kinsuke Kondo, 97 overall at catcher. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt, it's actually a 96 for us. Um Luis Robert Jr. Dude, this guy's incredible. I was using him um, in some of the programs too. Granted, I was hitting off the AI, but um, Adam Duvall in center field. Yeah, I think I think that's right right there. I think that's right. We could have see sec second base. 
Oh, third base. Nolan Arenado in place of Alex Bregman? No, I think we're I think we're good, bro. Starting pitchers. We got Madison Bumgarner. Um energy is low. Uh the bullpen definitely needs a little bit of work. And then we got uh we got some closers there too, Camilo Duvall. Okay, we're we're about to hop back in. I'm hopping right back into it. I'm not afraid. We went down eight to zero yesterday online. Uh we got a current record of four and two, but I think I think I'm I'm ready. I said I, I learned I learned a lot. I learned a lot from uh from playing Nationals Park. I wanna I like to play I like Globe Life now. We go ra Rangers. I find it easier to hit. Um retractable roof closed. Yeah. I like playing at places that are inside. It just I I can see the batter's eye is better. I don't know. But I learned some I learned some good stuff from our loss yesterday. I learned to be more patient for pitches. Really making pitch to me. Don't swing it shit. Right? Um I I learned what the fuck else did I learn? Something something else. Troy Gloss, Blake Spoon. Uh we got our power hitter. Yeah, Alex Bregman, he can he can hit 96, 125 versus lefties. Troy Gloss in the six hole. Who the hell is Edouard Julian? I thought that was somebody else we had his second. We're just going for it. We're just going for it. Oh, and I also learned in pitching, it's better to be late on the timing than it is to be early. Okay, we actually have a comparable team. Comparable team to this guy. And it looks like we are starting in the field. I still don't have a logo for the squad, but I swear it's... It's coming. I'm going to do it. Now it's the power speed combo. Hey, that's my guy. I got him too. What are you going to do? All right. You got the cutter. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Okay, so it's good to be late. You don't want to be like that, though. In the air, center field. Jammed him with the cutter. We like it. <clears throat> Pulls it in, and there's one away. You love to see it. Okay. So up next, Julio Rodriguez. Uh, yeah, that sweeping curve. Damn, that shit just looks mean, bro. Oh yeah. Foul. That's a nasty pitch. Truly nasty. Ball. Way to lay off that fastball. Only 93 on the. Looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to. There it is. That's the pitch right there. That's the online cheese. Just throw the inside cutter. Down and there's two gone. There's nothing they can do. Munitaka Murakami. Holy! That pitch has so much movement on it, bro. It's got so much movement. Good eye right there. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Well, damn, you got to throw strikes. Curveball drives in for a strike. The 3 1. Damn. Yeah, there it is. Oh, Line drive. let's go, Troy. Come on. on that one. Out of position, put the squeeze on. We're playing the Tampa OG hitters. Oh, shit. We're playing the hitters. The first. Okay. 99 Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson. Let's go, brother. And if there's one this guy's got no cutter. He's it's fucked. It's this guy right here, Ricky Henderson, the undisputed stolen base oh. king. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Got that slurb though. That bitch was nasty. 1,906 career steals is a record oh. that may stand oh, forever. <laughs> the active leader okay. in career steals isn't even a quarter of the way to that number. All right, dirt, bench, three swings reverse. and three misses. One away on the strikeout. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. Luis Robert, the next to hit, takes outside. Hopefully he's not fantastic at placing pitches. Oh, 
I almost smoked that bitch. And with the extreme crouch of that batting stance, Ricky made pitchers work. His strike zone was as small as it gets. He's looking to get on base. It's a pretty nice pitch. That one's going to fool me a lot. Is it triple? One down, base is empty. Oh my god, I was looking for the up and in fastball, bro. I was about to smoke that bitch. Mm. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. He's got good pitch placement. Righty delivers. And a pop up. Don't right catch that. Side, Don't catch that. Territory. Reaches for it, but it's foul. He's got really good pitch placement. Right hander kicks deals. Got God him damn it, dude. Pulled the string on the changeup. <clears throat> Two outs. Just got to stop swinging at shit. <laughs> But it's like when miss. it's the only thing they throw you is shit. Hey, there's a God. ball that drops in. And I take on a strike. So comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not got him. I'm about strikes to get out. destroyed. <laughs> I got to get better at analog pitching, I guess. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but like obviously once you figure it out, back to work. Being able to place your pitches is so much easier because I just leave stuff over the plate. For this guy out there on the mound, see if he continues. And you just can't do it. Like you got to be able to place your pitches with precision. This one in the air, center field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's nice job. Down. Now it's got the Curtis DH. Granderson. Curtis Granderson. Rolled softly, but that goes I'd love to see that. A little sweeping curve action. Next off nice eye. In the dirt. Hit him with that up and in fastball. Swing and a miss. Had him. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Again. Uh. Puts it in the air out to Come on, Ricky. Center. Yeah, Ricky's and quick. Ricky Henderson to grab. And that quickly, two away. And now it's Josh Naylor. Swings through that one. Wasn't ready for that. On the ground, right side. Easy work. Over okay, come on now. And it's a one Let's two, hit. Three inning. Let's hit. What do the fans think? Man, got his nachos. That dude's got a whole ass pretzel. Holy shit. Back here at the ballpark, Leave down the third off. baseman, oh, Alex Bregman. Third baseman. Alex. Wait for your pitch. Bregman. Yeah, Wait for your pitch. Outside. Bregman, who had a great career at LSU. He was the second overall pick in 2015. He wears that number on his back, number two, and singing. Didn't want that one. He's a big Derek Jeter fan growing up. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. This is really just going to be a matter of I need to get ahead on the count and just sit on one of his pitches. And first off, it's very clear he's got like the up and in fastball and then some low and away shit. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. <sighs> Foul ball still. That shit just comes in so fast, bro. It's so hard to react to. Waits. Fouls it back with two strikes. The pitch. In the dirt. So just such shit pitches. Pitch up with it over to first. And there's two gone following the strikeout. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. Stepping in. Oh, dude. I thought that was the up and in fastball. Is that the initial offering? Oh, shit. I bet it's coming now. Gets him to chase after that. I should just stop swinging. Not a swing you want to watch again. Second inning here, no score. Tell me that up and in fastball. 
pass. It misses. It's a. Mm. Back. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Now at the plate, Eric Davis. Swings and misses. Oh, and that's strike one. Like, I can kind of place my pitches, but not as good as him. The pitch. There we go. In the dirt. There we go. To it, on to first. Gets we might just have a low score game. That might just be what it is. Strike. You're best when you let the game come to you. Try to make too much happen right there. Whoa. Not as best at bat. Johnny Bench at the plate now. That's ball one. The next Dang. offering misses. Two and oh. The wind and the pitch. Damn. Damn. Swing and a miss. And I'm swinging it down. Oh boy, I left that one sitting. See. Mind, and that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. That was one where I did not want to leave it right there. Hear the phrase "short to it, long through it," and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And a foul Shit. ball. I had him jammed too. Bench stands at first with one out. Yeah. Run around the move. It's in the dirt. <laughs> A strike three. Ricky Henderson will hit next. Line out his first time. There we go. Pitch is Get me out of that inning. Get me out of that inning. Makes the catch in and over. Still zero to zero. I just got a hit. I just got a hit, man. I gotta be better. I gotta be better. As we go to the last. He's gonna throw me shit in the dirt and up and in fastballs. That's it. Those are the only pitches I'm getting. And that's in there at the knees. It's like you just have to swing at it, though. If you don't, he's just blowing strikes. Right past me. Shit is in the dirt. The hitting coach right now, this lineup seems to be swinging at everything. Swing. I got to swing at everything. Him out. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Goldie goes six feet, three inches in the eighth spot in today's lineup. He's one of the few major league baseball Wow, I actually took a ball. Delaware. Hmm. A change up the bottom just falls out of it at the very end, man. Got him. It's like you think you got a read on it and you just don't. And now the DH, Blake Sable. That one pulled foul. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Like this guy really doesn't have a pattern to his pitching either, which is good for him. Here's the 0-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. It's just so hard to tell that that's in the dirt. Oh, I, well, it was a strike anyway. up in the zone for the strikeout. I don't. I'm just not gonna be able to hit this guy. <laughs> I just can't do it, dog. <laughs> There's nothing to hit. I, I haven't gotten a single pitch to hit in this game. Top of the fourth. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Julio Rodriguez. And if I did, then I missed it. And the pitch. And that one missing low. Well, these guys, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone. Fuck, and man. Those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Next pitch. Like I'm falling behind 3 0. Oh. 3. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that was not a good pitch, dude. That was not a good pitch. 
And now the lefty. And a foul ball. He stays. Catch alive. that shit. Hmm. Here comes a pitch. Oh just my God! Drive left he smoked field it. And he knew it. That was a pretty well pitched fastball, too. Well placed fastball. Just like that, rather. they move in front. It's one. It's only one. It's only one. Now, Munitaka Murakami. That one fouled off. Next pitch misses way outside. Always exciting to see. Look, like I gotta get my shit close. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to. That was actually a good pitch. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Late with the swing there. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And the next pitch is way. How's he not swinging that? Rip to short. Tosses to first. A great play deep in the hole. Okay, we got one. Walt Peraza. Up the middle. Oh, well, shit, Troy. Gets by him. I might have took a bad angle to the ball there. I was focused on trying to nail the throw. Gone runner at first. And next is the designated hitter, Curtis Granderson. Squirts away a little bit. And an excellent job keeping it right there. <clears throat> at the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly. He flips it to second in time. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Come on. Dan, the inning. We got this. You got a solo shot. It's all good, though. I'm not letting this motherfucker throw a no hitter. And welcome back. Back to the top of the lineup. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Ricky Henderson. The pitch. Swings through that. It's just like the order here. You want to it's so well placed of a pitch. The bases and pick up a run. You see what I mean? Like they are perfect. I have to be able to pitch like that. Hitters just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone. And he's doing me a fucking change up right down the middle, man. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? This guy has nine strikeouts. They have to. And now it's look at those. God damn. His first time through. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. He's going to throw a no hitter. <laughs> uh, Towards left center field. That's can we get something with that? Oh, my God. The warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back. On the infield, got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. That shit just looks like it's coming right down the middle. Oh, that was it. He was late, strike two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. <laughs> what do you want me to fucking do? What do you want me to do? Don't say anything. Back here at the ballpark. Don't All say for the start of the inning. Here's Josh. Oh, this guy's just an animal with the pitches. An absolute animal. I think that's my next thing is I'm just gonna sit in some exhibition matches and just focus on analog pigeon. Back to work. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Because if I could uh that misses the zone. And now if I could place my pitches one. with that sort of and a pitch. accuracy. It's like, I just left that shit sitting. That, too, is terrible. Fuck, and now man. two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult. Hey, I shook one out. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. 
Eric Davis getting ready to hit. This one. Here we go. Jammed him. He's at least like making contact though. You know what I mean? I guess my pitching's not that bad. I've only given up one run, but it ain't as good as his. It's my hitting that needs work. Because like as we rank up, people are just gonna. I think if you ask most baseball, people are just gonna get better and better. The greatest catcher of all time would be this man right here, Johnny Bench. Next pitch that was a good inside. Take. One ball, one strike. If Bench isn't the greatest of all time, he's on a very short list. Rookie of the year, two time. He literally doesn't swing at the sweeping curve. What didn't he do? Next pitch misses, and a count is three and one. And I'll tell you something else about Bench. He was at the heart of one of the greatest teams of all time, that big red machine, and he deserves a lot of credit for their success. <clears throat> Zips it to all right. Third there we go. Hey, we're still one swing away. One swing away from a tie game. Alex Bregman, he could do it right here. Clean up. To the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in the long ball. Come on, buddy. Alex Bregman. And a swing and a miss. I'll never be able to hit that. Next offering is in for a strike. The line to kick the pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. Can't do it. Now, number eight. <laughs> this is the most frustrating game I think I've ever played. That's the third. I mean, that shit's in the Austin dirt. Taylor, home half of the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. And the thing is, like, by the time you recognize high fastball, it's too late. As he takes a ball. I think that's what I should be doing, though. I should literally just sit on the high fastball. It seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. Like pretty much that pitch. And if it ain't that, then don't swing. There's a swing and a miss. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Kicks and fires. Oh, get out! Fuck. See, he left that one over the plate. That was like the first slurve. That was a strike. He's throwing strikes. Welcome back. Now batting Robinson Cano. Mad Bum back to work. Cano, 40 years old now, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Oh, shit. That was... Where do you even begin? That was right over the middle. Seen from the Dominican Republic. Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. There we go. Misses, it's a strike. Nice pitch. Back to the top of the lineup, Ricky Henderson. Now at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He just he don't swing his shit in the dirt. Not like me. I'm guessing if you get better timing, the pitch is way better. And the fact that I'm never getting good timing is part of the reason. For the top of the <clears throat> now the number two hitter, Julio Rodriguez. Oh no, not again. Left field, Henderson going back. And that one is out of here. Didn't even give me a chance to rob it. Now it's the power speed combo. Moon uh. Fouls one. Hey, there we go. He swung at that one. Left. That's pretty much where I need to place all my breaking balls. Yeah, That's way outside. too far outside. That was a good one. And a foul ball left side. Nothing but curveball so far in the at bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Battling here. Damn, I tried That's to get him with that off speed. I'm going to give him one up and in, but I'm going to throw it way off speed. Left hand batter waits. Oh, nice one, Bumgarner. On the money, nice play. I just wanted to screw his timing up. Okay, we're still getting no hit. 
It's got to be the worst thing to watch ever. He's <laughs> striking out. I think I've struck out like 15 times. This guy's a fucking animal. Swing Mother fuck. Swing right there. God, I was waiting on it too. Out to the left. I mean, now I'm just fucked. 0-2 count. I got no clue what's coming. Ugh. Lifted in the air, out to left. And Ricky Henderson to grab. One away. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Come on, Goldschmidt. Give me some. Fuck, man. Just popped up. Two down. Next is the designated no, 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 no. hitter. About to go back to road. That was a strikeout. Oh shit! Wow, I actually watched it. Table measures six feet four inches, two hundred and fifteen pounds, and he's usually a catcher. Today, he gets off his legs a bit. The fat it just comes in too quick. Can't catch up to it after the fucking. So now one and two. Like first, I have to try to find out is it a curveball or slurve in the dirt. Instead of starting behind the dish, gets to hit. Once I realize that it's not, it's it's too late. The pitch is blown past you. Like he's got it, and that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the. I don't want to say it's impossible, but it's damn near impossible. And a pitch. Up the middle. Oh no, bad the run sends it over to first. Nice job. Get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now bad hat. Designated hitter. Curtis Granderson. Foul ball. Nice pitch there. Ball in one now. And that one wrapped foul. The O2. Smash to the left side. Let's go, Troy. Sends it to first. Like, that was terrible pitch placement. I have left so many over the middle of the plate. It's not even funny. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. Squares to bunt, but that rolls foul. Then I am. And he bunts, but that's foul. Strike two. Two outs. Uh, he ain't bunting again. Cut there we go. Miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. <clears throat> okay. It's still only two to zero. It's like it's a close game. Set for the last half of the We're at the top of the lineup. Fielder. Let's go, Ricky. I just gotta sit on the high fastball. You know, he's been so great today. Nope. Really just throwing whatever the catcher just sit on the high fastball. Shaking off the catcher very much at all today. Fucking right. fuck. Everything looks like a high fastball. Oh, I got under it. Right that was my pitch, dude. That was the pitch. Pulls it in for the out. He left that one soon. Now, outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. In there for strike one. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. 70% first pitch strikes. He is throwing a lot of strikes now, I'll be honest. I don't know if that's him missing now or what, but. Righty to the plate. Please get out. Please get out. Henderson going back. Oh. Uh, dude. Here's the center fielder. I need one. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. That's in for a strike. What a pitch. Like even if I swing at that, I'm fucked. As a hitter, you gotta be ready to hit. Now that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you gotta take what he's offering that day. In the air out towards right center. <sighs> That was a strike. And makes the grab. I had to swing. I'm just, I'm demoralized. I'm demoralized.
I should probably start warming up uh, now it's the right fielder, Eric. closer or something. Huh? Eric. He's still got a little bit of uh, and energy left. And first offering is fouled off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Just missed. How does he watch that? Bounced out to short. First out. Oh, gloss. And here's the catcher, Johnny Bench. Start him off with a little change up. Oh, one. Sometimes you're just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Attacking the strike zone. And he grounds one to the right side. Got my ground ball I was looking for. Over to Goldie. Two up, two down here in the top. I've actually pitched pretty well. Now it's the second baseman. It's not the pitching, clearly. You just can't win the fucking game if you don't get a hit. At the initial offering. Ball one there. Swing and a miss. <clears throat> and the count is one and two. Oh. Popped up. Greg Jammed him. Settles under it. He's got it. And that's the third out. All right, we got two more chances at this. <laughs> There's no way he throws a no-hitter, brother. There's no way. It can't happen. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Here's Alex Bregman. Can I, uh, yeah, let me pause real quick. Bullpen. Let's get the uh, closer warming up. Well, damn, don't bunt, motherfucker. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Out in front with the oh, swing, and that is strike one. This one high in the air to left center. I was sitting on that, too. It just had good timing. Rodriguez makes the catch, and there's one gone. And he's now just five no, outs it. away. Come on, Kensuke. Real shot at this thing. We're not giving this motherfucker a no-hitter. Rolling just in one of those grooves where he looks pretty unbeatable today. And fouled off. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Fuck, man. <clears throat> gets out of the way. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Next one is off the plate. Ball two. That was close. I knew not to swing at that. Outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Oh, now get in the gap. To left center. Get in the gap. Sit on the move. Let's go. In there, base hit. Let's go. And the bid for history is gone. And he's <laughs> yeah, fuck his no hitter. <laughs> Let's go hit a homer now. Dude, why is his strike zone so big? Shrink. Ready to cheer about something. Why is he playing? Oh my god, this dude is playing on third base. He's in the shift. Swing and a the rolls foul. Swinging in the dirt again. Oh. In the air, out towards Go. Go. Mother. And Ricky Henderson the grab, and that is the inning. I just want to beat my fucking head into a wall. Here is Ricky Henderson. Camilo Doval gets handed the rock out of the pen. Come on, Camilo. It's a great slider with tons of movement. Here comes a pitch. A swing and a miss. Nice slider. That's strike one. Doval, in his second season, he features a slider, a cutter, and he works in a sinker. 
on the ground right side. <clears throat> Tosses to hey, at least I got a hit. Now one gone in the ninth. So digging in, Julio Rodriguez. Ground ball left side. Let's go, Bregman. In plenty of time to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Deceptive. Oh, shit. There, stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Kicks and deals. And there's a beam. Got him with the off speeder. I'm going to hit him with it again. Oh, my God. Did I hit it with him again? Righty delivers. Ah! This is really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Right hander kicks, deals. Fuck. Knocks that one away. He was sitting on that back. shit. Yeah, the right hander deals. There we go. Got him with the sinker. Good. All right, bottom of the ninth. Who do we got? Paul Goldschmidt. Come on, buddy. Shit, he's, he's putting in the closer. Goldschmidt. Lee Smith. What's he got? Four seamer, slider, cutter. Oh, fork ball. I am fucking done. I'll just watch. That one missed. That was actually easier to read. Oh. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And that's a foul ball. Ball to strike. Right back at him. There we go. There we go. Base hit out of Come on now. Field. Off to a good start with a leadoff. Come on now. One swing. Outside One swing. Who do we got? 82 power. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around. There we go. Hey, he's not throwing first pitch strikes now. Up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their hits. Oh. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Next pitch in the dirt. Not swinging at that. What's up? What's up? You getting a little nervous now, ain't you? <laughs> uh, he ain't nervous at all, bro. It's a strike. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But oh. if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. This one. Go! Right center. Yes! Yeah! 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 Come on! A two-run blast. Let's go, man. It's two. Let's go. So the batting order turns over, and here is <laughs> Ricky Henderson. Okay, focus up. Very high. One swing. One swing. He's bringing in somebody else. One swing of the bat. I can't Just believe it, bro. Is in the back of that oh, shit. Point. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Makes the Fuck. One down. It's a good recovery, though, after the giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Robert, up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. All that tied pitch up. placement, bro. Last half of inning number nine. Mm. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Next offering. Too high, man. Too high. Bloop it. Bloop it. Popped up. Yes. That one gets down for a hit. And now the winning run is on base. Always feels amazing. Come on. Job done. Should I steal? Fuck no. Should I steal? Dude, let's play for the win. Let's play for the fucking win. To come through. It's just bigger than your Ryan Presley stats. Totally tied up with that inside. Get the steal, get him in the scoring position. Put in the zone, but you got the bat on plane enough. Robert on the go. Pitch get down. in the dirt. Let's go. Second. Let's go. That 
clips the zone. Nice pitch. And a count is 0-2. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already. Oh, I thought I, I thought I fucking had that. Now it's Alex Bregman. Bregman. Come on, buddy. First pitch. Nice eye, nice eye. Oh, pitch has popped up. I needed that, dude. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. I needed that. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark. We're in extras here. Here's the shortstop at the play. Oswald Peraza. And there's a foul. Is this Duval? Why does he look like Bumgarner? But he knows. I need a bullpen. Uh, two. Cutter, sinker, slurve. Okay. Your Extra innings in certainly had a different feel <laughs> starting in 2020. With a new rule placed Wait, what? around second oh, to begin right. the inning, and that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error, and boo to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big <clears> inning. But for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. Swing, and he breaks his bat. Gloss. Throw to first is damn that boy was quick. And here in the tenth, the leadoff man is out. So now the DH spot, Curtis Granderson. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. I don't know how to. Foul I still don't know how to throw him out. Move to second, and he dives back. I don't know how throwing people out when they steal bases works. Truly. Oh my God! Almost hit him. Almost got him there. Oh no. We're good. We're good. That one carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags up for third. <clears throat> and here's the first baseman. Put this guy in. <clears throat> See, this is such a good game. Braden Bristow. I've never even pitched with this guy. Jack Swing. Yes, he did. Strike one. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth. So here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button. Try to get some more runs and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. Come on. Come on. get Bregman for the out. Just get on base. Actually, we start at second. Just get a hit. Just get a hit. One hit, we win the game. Kinsuke Kondo, one time. That low and away slurve, slider, whatever he's going to throw. Just get the PCI down there, swing late, put it in the opposite the field. Half of the inning. Oh, actually, he's going to throw me in. Up to here. Number eight, Presley, back to work. There's the strike. I can't believe he just comes out throwing strikes like that. Ooh. This one in the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. That I actually tried to swing it though. Almost got him. High fly ball, right field. You're tagging. You're tagging. Davis Go. brings it in. Runner tagging for third. Yes, sir. He's in safely at third. Yes, sir. Now. Just a deep fly ball. Come on, Troy. Oh. And misses. That's got a little, a little happy on that one. I should just bunt that bitch. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Oh no! I thought that was it. One down. The next pitch misses. Two and I thought I smoked that shit. 
on the ground. Run, bitch! And he can't come up with it. Back to third. Safe at first oh my god. Make the play. Well, there he doesn't Why did he not run? I mean, I guess on the they it probably wouldn't have been good if he ran. Feet, soft hands. Well, he had brick hands on that one. Two on, one out. Number 15 digs in now. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Yes. Yes. How did I win? <laughs> How did I win, so dog? Exciting to see a team walk it off. How did we do it? You're on the other side. That was a great way to win. That's the best comeback of all time. And this win he was <laughs> <laughs> to throw a no hitter and he lost. 3 2 final score in this one. My heart. One run, extra inning win for Chris Singleton. Can you believe that I ended up with more hits than he did? I can't believe it. That was incredible. That's <laughs> incredible. Oh, I need to calm down. My heart. I can't take it. I can't take it. Dude, show me that last hit on the replay. Oh my goodness. Replay vault. The highlight reel. No, no, no. Not that one. Where's the vault? I want the batting. 10th inning. Humpback whales. Line for a single. One RBI. Yeah, let's see that. <laughs> oh, I just want to watch it again. Uh, oh yeah. What a nice opposite field hit. For the walk off. <laughs> oh man. That was that was sick. That was a fun game. That was a lot of fun. Alright, everybody. I think that's gonna do it uh for this episode of MLB 23. Uh this show. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We got 54 rating points out of that one. Uh so we're sitting at 278. I just I gotta get better at hitting, I guess. Bumgarner went up one. Bumgarner did great pitching wise. I think I did fine. It could obviously be better. Oh, I got an egg. Um, but yeah, I feel like I feel like that was that was okay. Let's see who we got out of that uh, out of that pack. <clears throat> we get a choice. Oh, these are more good ones. Look. Oh, I can get that ninety-seven Freddie Freeman. Uh, Cueto. We got second base Robinson Cano. Um, hmm. Tim Anderson, second base. 109 contact, 125. He's got speed. Who do I have at first base? I wish I could compare. Like compare and contrast with who I have. Parallels, marketplace, locations. Oh, I have a uh, Paul. I have Goldschmidt on first base, but I think he's like a 90. I think he's a 94. Freddie Freeman's a 97. At second base, I have... I'm pretty sure my second baseman is who just got that walk-off, so I'm not even going to replace him. But Robinson Cano. I don't know, bro. Do I want Freddie Freeman? I kind of want Freddie Freeman because like, I've seen the documentary about him, and he just seems like a really nice guy. And he's pretty good, too. But is that a good reason to to pick him? I don't know. I feel like it's between him and damn, this guy's pretty solid, but I don't need a center fielder. I think it might be Tim Anderson, bro. Look at that. 109 contact, 125 contact. 87, 79. It's just, do I need a, I'm going to take Tim Anderson. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Yeah, because if we go to manage squad, yeah, second base. I think I gotta. I think I gotta sub him out. There we go, and we got Tim Anderson. I like Paul Goldschmidt. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it. This episode of MLB Twenty Three Road to the Show. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll catch you right back here next time. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, just refresh it and give it one more chance. And as always, guys, I don't really.